Okay, recording has started. No, it hasn't. Yeah, it has. Anyways, um... No, it hasn't. <laughs> I, I control the recording around here. Not uh, you. Uh, thanks, Alex. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks a lot. Anyways, um, hey. <laughs> hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to the podcast. Hey, hey, everybody. I started the recording. This show is probably started, um... A day later, something like that, because I gotta edit and upload this. But whatever. Anyways, we're going to uh, cover, I guess, the gaming news from the past two weeks, like we usually do. Mm-hmm. And mm. I'm joined here by friends. Quick question, Oozle. Yes. Now, let's just start this off. If you were to buy an alphabet book, right, and it says A, B, C's, right, and you open the book and it's only three pages long, it's just A, the letters A, B, and C. Would you feel ripped off, or would you be understanding? I feel understanding. Also, yes. I would feel, I would also feel, feel rip- really stupid because I bought a book with only three pages. <laughs> yeah, but I would, like I would a, feel ripped B, off. It's for kids. I would. <laughs> it I just would feel A, rip- B, and C. I would feel ripped off because it's plural. They said A, B, C's. Yeah, there's more C's. There's like three C's in the C page. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was I was thinking it was A, B, and he sees something. No. A, B, C's. Whatever. So, yeah, we're going to cover DMV News the past two weeks. I'm joined by Alex and Dominic. No, you're not. Yeah. I think I have no friends. Oh. Well, yeah. Uh, and we're just going to go like right into the, like, the gaming news. So, I mean, first off is probably the biggest of all the news from the past two weeks. It was just Satoi, Satoi, Satoi Iwata's death at oh. age 55. Oh no. no! Oh no! Yeah. I'm gonna really miss that guy. He's really awesome. I. Agree. We will all miss his I direct agree. to you. I don't know. He's. I mean, I'm not gonna lie when I say like probably a bigger influence on me was Miyamoto, but uh, Miyamoto was up there. He was a really cool guy. Yes, he was. I'm gonna miss. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna miss him yeah. talking. Awkwardly in English and speaking directly to me on Nintendo Directs. Yeah, they're awesome. How did he die? Making us making us understand. Really young. Um, he died because he had a. Uh, it was a bile growth, which apparently is something relating to him having cancer and during the operation, like something messed up and he died. Oh, he had an operation. And he died. Yeah. He dead. He's dead. Dead. My condolences to his family and friends. My condolences to, to Oozle Park. Thanks, Alex. You're welcome, Oozle. Thank you. He took it really hard. He needed that. Yeah, he did. Oozle, if I knew where you were, I'd hug you, but as soon as you I do... You know where he is. Shut, the f- shut your whore mouth, Dominic. I was actually I was actually pretty close to like thinking about making an entire video for Iwata, but I decided against it and just doing it on the podcast instead. Yeah. This isn't our mo- uh, this isn't our our video for Iwata. Uh, well, I was gonna make like a whole video dedicated to him. You mean we were gonna make a whole video dedicated to him? Yeah. Yeah, gonna miss him. I liked Earthbound and Pokemon Gold. I did like Pokemon Silver more. Yeah, Animal Crossing, all those great games he brought us. I be- I believe what they said is he had influence over 127 games on Nintendo consoles. So, oh. so he was a big contributor to like the Nintendo library itself. Yep. The especially, CEO, yeah, especially on GameCube and DS. The CEO does tend to do that. <laughs> yep. Well, he always he was only CEO on 2013. For most of the time, he was like a programmer and a representative. Who was? Who was CEO up until then? I don't know. Someone. Reggie. Else. Was he? No. That's CEO. That's president of America of the Americans. Uh, He's yeah, <laughs> Reggie, president of America. <laughs> <laughs> what a better world that would be. <laughs> I, I don't know. I heard. I've only really heard good stories about him. Like, um, I believe one time when like, the Wii U wasn't doing well, he took a pay cut himself in order to make sure he wouldn't fire anybody at Nintendo. Mm. Um, who? Um, Iwata. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a really cool move of him. There's actually a lot of Japanese people that did that, surprisingly. Like, the CEO of um, an airport company in Japan. Yeah. He just pays himself minimum wage. Mm-hmm. 
to cut back. Yeah. And from what I from what I've heard, he's done stuff like he pretty much coded in th the entire game of Earthbound from scratch. Like through original coding, not like like way back during the Famicom days. And then I I know apparently during Gold and Silver's development, they had trouble fitting Johto and Kanto maps together on one cartridge, and no programmer at Nintendo knew how to do it, except for Iwata, who mm -hmm. who figured out how to do that. Because Iwata is a boss. Yep. Also Wikipedia. <laughs> I don't know if Wikipedia existed at the time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna miss him. I'm yeah. sure everyone on the internet is grieving for his death right now, except for those one assholes. I mean, yeah. those one assholes. Uh, well, there's like people on the internet who's like, "Oh, great, Nintendo's finally gonna what get was, good." Wait, what was that paradox, Fuzzle? Huh? Those one assholes. Those one assholes. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense one. to me. Uh, what are you talking about, Tom? It makes sense to me. Mm, yeah. All right. Well, going to the next one. Um, so we haven't heard much from Sega recently. After the whole, uh, them losing their companies and all. Well, some of their mm -hmm. companies. Uh, so apparently what they're saying now is, uh, they say they betrayed their fans and they want to be a brand again with, uh, Sonic. Oh, so oh yeah. And so they're going to announce, they they're going to tease a new console game at TGS. And, okay, I shouldn't say it's Sonic, but, I mean... They want to it's be knuckles. a brand again. <laughs> it's Knuckles. It's are they knuckles. gonna Are they it's gonna knuckles. finally lay off uh, Sonic Team? Please. They should have done it ages ago, but they won't lay them off. <laughs> Why not? I don't Why? know. They, Why? they, they don't want to. Have... They made generations, and they didn't... yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. The generate. Listen. They also made like I don't know Sonic 06, right? They made that, right? Uh. I... I don't think so. Yes, they did. Did they? Okay, yeah. well, they made ge they made colors and generations. They started to get good. They made mm. more bad games than good games, Uzel. <laughs> That's the fucking truth of it. <sighs> come on. Remember how, come Sonic on. Remember how Sonic Adventure is objectively a bad game? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was shit. But Sonic Adventure 2 was okay. Bad. No, it was bad. <laughs> So cute. The like music it had, was okay. It has its great, it has, it has its great moments, but mm, it was bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, other, like it's like it's like it's like horrible, 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 and like oh my god, I'm rolling around at the speed of sound, right? Yeah, and then I you're, was, you get hype as shit. I was kind of thinking um, that maybe they were going to do the whole bringing in an Atlas game to Sega kind of thing, and then I just remembered that they separated after they kind of went a little bankrupt in 2013. You know what Sega? they should do? Oh uh, no, Atlas. They were a parent company of Sega, uh -huh. so they're like, oh, yeah. and after they started to lose money, they're like, well, fuck you guys. They should make a. F they should be a furry porn company. That's the only thing that I can oh. see would be profitable. Wait, was it really? Like, fuck wait, you are actually, only specific. actually, Alex, did you know Sega actually ha had made like Sonic porn? What? You, did you not notice? No. They have actually. Officially made Sonic porn. Oh, did it make yeah. the money? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how well it did. All I knew, all I know, was that they officially, at some point, officially made Sonic porn for like. Did you one watch time. it? No, I didn't watch it, Alex. What did it? What was Believe it? Believe it or not, like... my interest of Sonic porn was not that great. <laughs> I mean, you know the most <laughs> about it than any of us. I mean, you would be like, hey, what did? Imagine what does that look like. And you, you didn't, you didn't no, I don't want to imagine what it looks like, Alex. That's the last thing I want to imagine what it looks like. Why not, Oozle? Are you some sort of discrimination against Sonic people? Yeah, some, you, some sort of you, discrimination you, against Sonic people. Do you like not like furries, Oozle? Yeah. Is, this, is that what's going on here? I hope Sega does something. Because they need money. <laughs> no, they don't, Oozle. I need money. <laughs> well, not really. They have enough Western studios to keep them up. I don't... I don't... <laughs> Look, the thing is, Sonic, Sega will never go bankrupt. Be Sega of Tokyo will never get bankrupt because of arcade machines. Yeah, they, of course. And Sega much... of America will never go under because they have Creative Assembly and uh, Relic. Yeah. 
So, I mean, it's not like they're going to go away. It's just they're not going to get that they're brand. They're probably going to splinter off. I, I don't know if they're going to get that brand. Like, if they don't, again. like, change change Sonic. <laughs> uh, I have but hey, the cartoon was good. <laughs> I hope so for Sonic. I hope they make Sonic Boom too. Oh, yeah, which, which cartoon? Uh, Sonic Boom. Oh, I, I was hoping you were talking about... Um... Sonic Boom is this the cartoon is actually good. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> moving on from Sonic to an actually good game. Uh Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5 has PlayStation exclusive content and uses dedicated servers. Oh, which which Tony Hawk are you talking about? Are you talking about right here? No, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Oh, but how do you know if it's good? <laughs> it's going to be amazing. And it has exclusive content on the PlayStation not found on the Xbox editions. Oh, boy. Like, Someone's uh, really been pushing that. <laughs> like, uh, Sackboy. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, I Sweet- love Sackboy. And Sweet Tooth and Ratchet uh-huh. as custom skaters. <laughs> like, I-, I remember when Xbox used to be big on the whole console exclusiv- exclusivity craze. And they stopped. Well, they're still on it, but not as much as Sony right now. Yep. It sucks. I wish Sony would stop. <laughs> uh, why? Why would you want Sony to stop? Because it's not cool. Why? It wasn't cool when Xbox did it. It's not cool when Sony did it. I wish we you started it. Huh? I wish that we started doing stuff like that. Yeah. The Wii U won't start doing it because they don't have any games. Third Shut- party. I know. I know. <laughs> would you shut up, dog? I know, dog. That's why I wish they started it. Uh, oh yeah, people are teary-eyed about Iwata's death. Most, um, some of them were because uh, Iwata's last statement was he was apologizing for la- for uh, E3. Mhm. Like well, yeah, that was apparently that's a big thing for people, and they're crying over that. That was his last public statement. And I hope to God. The Nan X has something like yeah, Wii U exclusivity. Yeah, I hope that next year's better. Hopefully they learn from it. <laughs> Hopefully they get somebody as good That's... as Huwata. Well, not well, actually. I hope. Um, I hope we get somebody as good as Huwata in terms of like games, but not in terms of console development. Well, was Iwata in charge of console development? Um, Iwata. I, I I heard Miyamoto also had a lot of hand on. Hardware stuff, but not on the NX. Because, god dang it, I just want a normal console from Nintendo. <laughs> Screw you, Dom. The next Thanks. one's gonna have... Uh, you screen. screens. They're gonna bring the, the power glove back? <laughs> <laughs> you play it on your arm? Yes, everybody Oh my god, holy shit, Alex. What? Holy shit, power glove and Fallout 4. Then, then. I just, I, I just want the new Nintendo console to have a power glove specific, just so Fallout 4 would be playable on it. I would. That I would, sounds stupid as fuck. Yes, that's why they're making an app so you can do that in real life. I don't want to do that in real life. I want to do that in video game life. Video games. But yeah, for Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's good to know that Tony <laughs> Tony Hawk's contract is still active. Why yes, wouldn't indeed. he? He's Tony Hawk. Yeah, that was a hell of a long contract for him to sign. He's Tony fucking Hawk. He's not even relevant anymore. It's Tony what do you mean he's not relevant? He's Tony fucking Hawk. No. He was yeah, on a children's show, man. He's the coolerest. Exactly. Oh, I would love to be <laughs> Tony Hawk. I would love to hang out with Tony Hawk. I do you would know how much people want to be on children's shows? I want to be on children's show. I would teach I all the be kids on that all the good Barney things show. all the time. All the good tricks. I want to be on that Barney show. And <laughs> tell them I don't love you. Uh, Alright, I guess we're going to move on from Tony Hawk. Uh, yep. To another game. Uh, Street Fighter V. It has officially added Ken Masters. Oh boy, I wonder what would ha- I wonder how much backlash they would get if they didn't. Well, remember when Street Fighter Four and they said they were gonna they were not gonna add Ryu or Ken? Yeah, people flipped. Yeah, people flipped their shits. <laughs> like what? You're not gonna add the main character and his rival? Are you so, insane? <laughs> Ken Masters has like a ponytail now. 
Uh huh. And he, I don't know, he he's kind of different. I mean, he's super not, angsty. He kind of has like a different outfit as well. It's not similar to like Ryu's with a red color change. Wait, yeah. wait, wait! What? He's not the red Ryu anymore. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, he has this like he has red, really but he doesn't. He's not he, in like his lower. Okay, his lower body's red, right? But on he has like this sort of like a sports kind of. They ruined him. Yeah. He also is like really zero out of ten. Blonde. Yeah. Whatever. Look. Wait, wait. I have a question. Does Ryu look the same, but with black hair and white clothing? Uh. If so I'm okay with it. I. I you saw the trailers. For I know, but I'm just hoping that that's like his. That was like an alternate skin. Uh no, that's his. That's his classic. He's like. Fuck, fuck this company. This is default. Just like the white suit with the. I mean the white clothing. Tip. It's a traditional Ryu clothing. Fuck this company. Why? I don't. I don't know. I can't believe Ken Masters would change his outfit because he has the money to do so. Why would you change the outfit? Why would you change perfection, Uzel? It wasn't perfect. It was fucking perfect. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was, Uzel. It was not. That was the optimal street fighting gear. Uh-huh. The optimal sport <laughs> for the optimal. Name me something better than that. Uh, being completely naked. That's wrong. That's not wrong. That's, that's wrong. The, that's, the optimal, that's the optimal fighting gear. No, Uzel, that's not. That's the optimal sex gear. No, it's not. What sex and you fire work... are two different get things. <laughs> You're naked when you have sex, Alex? What yes. a weirdo. <laughs> uh, are you trying to make uh, a joke? Or... No, I'm wrecked. not trying to make a joke. He's being deathly serious Speaking right of now. jokes, Platinum. <laughs> uh, oh, wait, what's so jokey about him? What's, what's the joke? Was, are you trying to be funny? No, what, are you trying to be funny? No, I'm just asking you if you're trying Anyways, to be funny. Anyways, Platinum's making a new game. Another... <laughs> oh, yeah, they have uh, a lot of side projects. They have a lot of side projects right now. What do you mean side projects? Oh, near. A lot of them are. Uh, I don't think. Oh, uh, well, yeah, near is a side near project. I'm sure. Star Fox uh, Zero. But and then they have their main thing, which is Scalebound. Scalebound and Transformers. Transformers is a big budget game made by them. Yep. Well, do you think I don't know if it's a big budget, but it's sixty dollars you're charging it for. Do you think it's gonna be good? Cause oh, last what I've seen it looks awesome. Name me one good game Platinum has made. Okami. Okay, name me another one. That was no, it's not made by Platinum. That was made by Clover. X yeah, you uh, he was pre, uh, the people who made Clover made pl uh, left to make Platinum. Yeah, but that's not Platinum. That's fucking Clover. Yeah, you stupid head. It's like, yeah, pretty it's... much everybody at Clover went to make Platinum. Stupid head. Okay, so so are you, so you're saying to me right now that uh, Bayonetta two is not a Platinum game because it's not made by the original guy. Yeah. What do you mean the original guy? Like the guy who originally made Bayonetta. Hideki no. Kayama. They're not part. They're not platinum. They're Cloverleaf. Name me a good platinum game. Uh, for Vengeance. Okay, name Wonderful me another one. Wonderful 101. Another one. Bayonetta. Another one. Bayonetta 2. <laughs> another one. I think that's their entire docket so far. Exactly. Uh, uh Legend of Korra. You, you trash. That's not a good game. Why are you game? calling me trash? <laughs> really? So, what you're saying is, they have four games for five. They're horrible. <laughs> that's, uh... Oh, uh, yeah. oh, oh gee, yes, I'm that's like an so 80%. Sorry. That's horrible. That's horrible. I expect, I expect 90, Let at me, least 100. Exactly. At least 1,000%. I'll, I'll, I'll name you a good studio. Okay. Imagine... Imagine, um... So what's the studio we made? What's uh, the part? Uh, Sega? Yeah, Sega. Sega. Name me a bad game they made. You can't. They have not. And made have it. you Sonic heard? They feel bad for betraying their friends. They want to be a brand exactly. again. Exactly. They're yeah. ha they're nice, and they make good games. And they're teasing they're a new console game at TGS. Jesus Christ! They even donated all their money to charity, which is why they're on the verge of bankruptcy right now. Yes, that's the reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. And you're trying to tell me that Sega isn't the best developer in the world. Listen, Dominic, they don't only develop games or consoles. They develop hearts at Sega. It's a magic place. Transformers. They're necromancers. Transformers, They're necromancers over there. Platinum in disguise. No, no, necromancers are Bethesda. Well, uh, so... 
Platinum is uh, Platinum is doing their own thing, and uh, let's see what a uh, Ubisoft is doing. <laughs> Assassin's Creed. So, uh, do any of you watch the show Gravity Falls? Yes. They're making a 3DS game, and apparently they're going to use the Ubisoft. Uh... Wait, are they doing? Are they making it, or are they just licensing out the engine? Uh. I think they're just just licensing out the engine. If that's the case, so whatever. It's going to have the Ubisoft Art Studio thing. Yeah. I have a doggy. Uh, the Ubisoft explains it. Press. <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. It looks like from what they're saying right now, it's being made by Ubisoft. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, it's similar to how it worked directly with South Park Traders to make Sick of Truth. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be like in... Yeah, RPG. it's like for, like the people who made Gravity Falls are overseeing it. Yeah, that's good. Because uh, I know... Oh, from, um, yeah. I know from an interview... Uh, Alex Hirsch said that if he wanted to make a Gravity Falls game, he would want to do in a similar vein as Super Mario RPG. Uh, it's like, how well, was Super Mario RPG done? Um, turn-based combat, basically. <laughs> oh, but it's a platformer in this one. <laughs> sort of like, no, yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. Okay. Uh, platform side scrolling. Oh, that's it. It will have Metro, Metroidvania elements. What? Why would they have Metroidvania elements? I don't, what I abilities would he gain? You, you don't, don't understand. They're they're they're. No, actually, actually it makes. It, no, yeah, they no, do get abilities. No, no, it's not. It's not like that. It, the whole game is just the two kids playing on their NES. NES. They play Ma Super Mario. I mean, Super Mario RPG, and they play Metroidvania. That's it. That's all they do. Okay. The game Metroidvania. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They play the game Metroidvania. You don't believe me? By check out. Yeah, exactly. Metroidvania by Sega on their uh, Sega Dreamcast. <laughs> well, no. Uh, honestly speaking, they do. Uh, they actually legitimately would have items they can use from the show, like um, first like Mabel's the grappling hook. Uh, Mabel's grappling hook. They have the flashlight that shrinks and grows stuff. Um, was it? They had other shit. Uh, they had. I can't. Oh, they had the crossbow as well. They somebody gave them. Uh, hey Donk, I have a question. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. What happened? If, let's say in like 15 years from now, when you have a kid, right, and you go yeah. on a long business trip and you come home, and the first thing you do when you come home, it's like 2 a.m. They run up to you, scream, "Let's play a game." Uh huh. What would you do? Should you say yes, no, or go back to bed? Uh, can I have some rest? So go back to bed. Wait, wait, what? Can we can you explain it to me? It's 1 a.m. in the morning. You come is home from Is this relevant to what we're talking about? Or you just yes, it is. Off? Okay. <laughs> you, okay. Go, you go to work, right? <laughs> come mm -hmm. home from a long day of work. It's 1 a.m. Your kid just rushes out of her bedroom and screams, Let's play tag, Dad. Hmm? What do you say? Ta tag. Oh, tag? Um. Sure, no, or go back to bed. Uh, I would say... <laughs> I'd like to imagine the kids just, like, looking at you, and you're just saying, uh... It's like uh, a dialogue wheel. You say the one... <laughs> you say the wrong thing, and she's like, your child will remember that. <laughs> okay. So which one do you pick? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so you just look at the daughter and say, I, I don't know. <laughs> do I want to play tag? Do I not want to play tag? That is a very right. good question. I'd like, to see, I'd like to see how you tie this all in. Um, yeah. And that's Dominic's parroting skills. Hmm. Okay, and how does this relate to Gravity Falls, the 3DS game? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you told me this is relevant, so I'm holding you up on that. I lied. You lied to me. You wasted my time. Uh, next subject. Um, uh, let's see. So, you know how after... No, that, I don't know. You know how Fat and Pain... Okay. Uh, Kojima left. Yeah. Uh, so apparently they state an MGS uh, voice actor stated that Kojima Studios will disband half, um, mm. once Phantom Pain is completed. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait for the indie stu uh, Kojima's indie game, me uh, me uh, Iron Cog Hard, 
to come out. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad about that because I was hoping at least Kojima would still like make stealth games. It's like he's either gonna make an indie game that will get all the money, or he's gonna make. Yeah, but it won't. It won't to... have the original Kojima studio. No, fine. He'll go to Koji Su, uh, Koji Stu, Kojima Studios. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, Problem solved. Oh, I should have. All right. All right. Um. Moving on to the next topic, mm-hmm. um, there I should have tied this in with the 3DS Gravity Falls game, but uh, new Rayman's game announced. Eh, for mobile. Oh. <laughs> for smartphones. How is, oh no. <laughs> Why'd you do this? Why'd you have to do this? Uh, so they're gonna be. I, I'm gonna assume this is gonna be an auto runner game. No, it doesn't look like it. You're like the it looks like the character has full control. Does it? Yeah, like go look at the trailer. All right, I'm gonna look at the trailer right now, Dom. And if you're lying to me, I I'll... said it looks like. I know, I know, but if I don't see that, if I don't see what you're seeing, well, you, you gonna call me crazy? Yes. I think you're crazy. Do you, do you think I'm crazy, Dominic? Yeah, yeah. It actually does look like they have full control. Shit. Yeah. Let me see this. This is good. It looks like an actual Rayman game on yeah. your smartphone. I Why is it on mobile? Yeah. Why is it only on mobile? Well, I think <coughs> it's because the last Rayman game didn't do so well on the consoles, so they're gonna go for the mobiles because at least that did kind of well. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's it's kind of si- downloadable title. Maybe you shouldn't charge it for sixty bucks. <laughs> it's sixty bucks of content that's deserving. Mm, I'm not saying it wasn't a lot. But at the same time, half of the game was just content from the from Rayman Origins. Shut up, Dom. No one cares what you think. <laughs> oh, that's wrong, Dom. I, I care what you I think. I care. No, you don't. I do. I'm no, lying don't. to you. Don't trust them. But you know who I do trust? The George Castle Luke. Crushers developers. Uh, pit people. Pit people, we actually have a name for the game now instead of was it new game seventeen or something? Uh game four. Game four? Yeah. Song two. Twenty nine. Catchy name. Yes. Anyway, this relates to uh, what I was saying earlier. <sighs> okay. Alright, alright. Alright, Alex, I'll make you a promise, alright? If what you're about to say does not actually relate to what we're talking about, I'm actually gonna cut this out in editing. Alright? Okay. 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 So go, so go ahead. Mm. Okay, so that had nothing to do with uh, pit people. <laughs> I mean, you just said I had to tie it in. You didn't say to what. It didn't. Yeah, I did. I said to tie it in. And I did. I tied it into what you just said. No. No. Well, that's getting edited out. Thanks a lot, Alex. <laughs> is it a result? Thanks yeah, for it the is. extra work. <laughs> is it a Yeah, it is. Is it? It is. Is it a result? Anyways, I'm done with this conversation. Moving on. <clears throat> We are going to move on to uh, another game. So we yeah, have yeah, wait, a wait, release. Tell me the game. We're, tell me the game so I can. We have a time. release date for uh, Timbo, Timbo, the badass outfit. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Ba-da, 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 ba-da. So so so. Alex, <laughs> it is wasting time. I think I'm making it better. <laughs> no. I wouldn't say that. Uh, many would disagree, uh, and also many are right. Uh, yeah, this looks good. I don't know if people are still uppity on the whole... What was it? Who, who's... Fuck, who's the Pokemon developer's name again? Game... Game, Game Freak. Freak. Game Freak. Game, Game Freak. Freak, my bad. I wonder if people are still uppity on the Game Freak betraying Nintendo shit. It's not betraying uh, Nintendo. You betrayed yeah. Nintendo. You betrayed us. But Nintendo they betrayed us by not being a slave anymore. Nintendo made you all the games you could want. You had Pokemon Gold and Silver. We had Pokemon and Pokemon and Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> we and they gave Ranger. you Pokemon Black and White, and when you weren't satisfied, they made Pokemon Black and White too. <laughs> you <welcome>. bastards! <laughs> I mean, some people are never satisfied, like Dominic's hypothetical daughter. And when you were questioning the validity of Pokemon, they made you make Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oh, oh the, the remake of the remake of the remake. 
What? Pokemon Shh. Ruby and, and Emerald and Sapphire weren't a remake. Just let it die. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire? Yeah, they were. No, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire weren't a remake, so Pokemon... Yeah, they were no. the original ones, but Omega yeah. Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are the remake. Yeah, you know, no, but Dominic's saying it's a remake of a remake. Shh. Ah, uh, well, it is. <laughs> How? It is a remake on the previous games. <laughs> but better. Ah, uh, you know what Nintendo should do? Make another Warrior Rare. Yeah. And a good one this time. But on the Xbox. <laughs> Where it belongs. <laughs> no, on the mobile market. You know, I kind of could see it on the Xbox, only because it connect. If it works. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm serious, let's put it on the mobile market. They probably oh. are going to with the whole mobile push. Yeah, cool. because that, that game works on the mobile platform. That's good. Uh... Well, enough of uh, the badass outfit. Let's talk about the Fallout uh, 4. Dominic's daughter. So, Fallout 4, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and apparently, what they're saying is a lot of the story is going to have the whole android versus human conflict that was kind of talked about in the... Who would have fucking Fallout, guessed? Fallout 3. And all that shit. I, I could not have seen and that. And apparently, Mr. House was in the in Institute of where they had all the androids. Makes a better sense. So I wonder if more elements of Fallen New Vegas is gonna held in. Like we we see evidence of Mr. House actually at the institute was at the institute or something. I want to team up with Mr. House again. Yeah, actually I kind of wonder because uh uh spoilers, but uh at the end of Fallen New Vegas, if uh you teamed up with Mr. House or potentially you overthrow Mr. House, you could have the androids fight with you at the dam. Right. They're not androids. I mean, not androids, the machines. Screwtrons. Screwtrons, right? So, I wonder if that has that can tie in. Uh, probably not. Well, I'm, uh... He like, he's the president of Robco. He probably just went and made the institution. And then it fucked off to Vegas, because that's what he, his idea of paradise was. <sighs> Obviously, fall for... So we haven't seen what the Brotherhood of Steel is going to play in all this. Well, there, there's the Institute there, and there's Android there, there too. The Brotherhood of Steel probably went to the Institute to steal their tech. Well, do you think do you think the Brotherhood would take sides on the war? Yeah, the Brotherhood will, would, unless it's Lion's Division. Um, if oh, it's the you Outcasts... Know, you know, interesting which, is if you could influence the Brotherhood of Steel to side with either the Androids or the Humans. They're always, the Brotherhood of Steel is going to be with the Humans. What if I, what if I can convince them? You wouldn't be able to. That what? they're going. That's going against the codex. I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to them. Gonna, gonna give a stern lesson. To them. <laughs> Androids are people too. That's the. No, they're fucking codex. not. They're robots. <laughs> that is, uh, they're that's, robots. I have speech 100. You will not defile me. I am. You will not object. Yes, I will. No, you won't. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Oh. Also. Um. After but playing actually, Fallout 3... Uh, more, no more skills in Fallout, so you don't have speech 100. Suck it down. Uh, anyways, in Fallout 3, I realized some things I would like to be added. But, uh, were added in Fallout New Vegas, but I'm not sure if they're going to add it into Fallout 4. Um, I kind of like the fact that the guns could have different types of ammo. So you weren't mm -hmm. constrained on one set of ammo, necessarily. Yeah, they probably are going to do that. And also... No, like this. Uh, they said that the weapon selection, like the core weapon selection, is limited, but the weapon crafting is really in depth. Yeah, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like the types of ammo you can put into your gun. Oh. Yeah, like yeah. armor piercing or uh, yeah. hollow point or whatever. Hollow point or yeah. whatever. Yeah. It's an airy. Yeah. Uh, also, I guess, Alex, tell me, tell, do you like the Fallout 3 speech system better or the Fallout New Vegas speech system better? Doesn't matter. It's not gonna be the same as either one. I want it. I want to follow the New Vegas one better. It's gonna Why? be Mass Effect. I want certainty in my speech dialogue, Alex. But that that doesn't make sense in in like like just immersion wise. It's like that just doesn't make sense because it's like no matter how good you talk, you're gonna fail sometimes. You're gonna say you're gonna screw up one thing. You're gonna mention something that. You have no idea that that person yes, would be like. Yes, Alex. But that just means button. I have to load another save file. Really? You you that? 
Yes, because anybody can just do that. Well, I Maybe can do that. Maybe a little bitch. Yeah, exactly. I want certainty. That's well, then you don't e you don't even have to level up your speech then and follow three. You can just keep trying and trying and trying. Yeah. What a t what a task, you know. It sucks. But moving on to the next thing, uh, so, Halo series has reached 65 million and sold, which is apparently a milestone. Mm. A milestone from still Marvel not as much as stuff. GTA. Of course not. Nothing can stop GTA. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, not even death and taxes. Good job, good job, Halo. You did a you did a good job being a shooter on the Microsofts. It was okay. Yeah. Really, it was just mediocre. Yeah, hey, that's a that's that's a pretty big milestone for an exclusive game on a console. How much else has Mario gotten? Mario. Yeah, just in general, like Mario. Just be disappointed if it was less, considering Mario's been on way yeah. longer. Yeah. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Jesus I Christ, Mario would probably be like the top. Like Google that shit, it was all. <laughs> Mario's... Mario... Unit sold. Yeah. Uh, okay. It's a Mario sold. Individual Marios. In... let's see... I mean... Yeah, no, there's no question that Mario collectively outsold... <laughs> like... Outsold Halo. Like a I doubt that. Cause like imagine this, like imagine each game getting like ten million, right? But I'm looking at the numbers right now. Like Super Mario Bros had forty, like forty million already sold. Mm-hmm. And the one on the DS was like eleven million sold. The 64 was eleven million sold. And there's a lot of Mario's that's been sold in the millions. So yeah, Halo does not compare in terms of sales. Fuck you, Halo. You 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 suck. Yeah, get a good game like Mario. Yeah, <laughs> please bring some innovation to your series like Mario has. Yeah. Actually, speaking about that, it's true that Mario actually has brought more innovation, difference in the video games than. Yeah, actually, than that's Halo. true. Went from 2D to 3D. Yeah, went from RPG to platformer. Just, just the other way around, Alex. No, it started as an RPG. You were role playing as a plumber climbing up to save his girlfriend. Um, oh, okay. Excuse me. Um, <laughs> does Mario have a strategy game? Uh, uh, yeah, it does. What is it? Uh, Mario Sunshine. The strategy is to jump on the Goombas. Uh, excuse me. Mario started out as a drawing from Miyamoto, who moved the paper up and down as a video game. Yeah. <laughs> it, just, it was a jumping image originally. Uh, is Mario a top-down shooter? Yeah. Don't you remember that one? Mario <laughs> top-down shooter? <laughs> Mario, Mario Warfare. <laughs> Mar no, Mario. Uh, no, fuck. Mario fuck. Warfare. Exactly, that was what I was going to say. Mario Warfare. I just realized it sounds stupid. <sighs> Mario, Wario Warfare. Mario Warfare. <laughs> no, Wario Warfare. Wario no, it's Mari Warfare. Wario Warfare. Fine, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I should have tied this in with the Game Freak thing, but uh, Pokemon Shuffle, after selling 4 point million downloads on the 3DS, which really was quite easy because it was a free game that they kind of shoved into all 3DS users. Uh, I didn't get it. Yeah, no, if you actually street past somebody with Pokemon Shuffle, the game, the your 3DS will immediately like make a pop up for you to download Mar Pokemon Shuffle on your 3DS. Uh, but anyways, they're gonna make it for the mobiles, which is actually quite fitting because it's basically like Candy Crush. It's just it's just Candy Crush but with Pokemon. Like <laughs> uh, I, I mean I I feel like this should have been a mobile game to start with, but whatever. It's Pokemon Shuffle. I had fun playing it. I'm going to move on to the next one, which is Shovel Knight. No, I, I want to talk about Shovel some more. Shovel some more? Alright. I want to talk, talk about Shovel Shovel, some more. Shovel Knight is, uh, is, a, is getting a physical release after being only digital. 
is now going to get a Wii U, a 3DS, a PlayStation 4, an Xbox digital, like, edition. And it'll cost about $20, which was, which is kind of weird. Well, it's $20, but you can get $15 in the digital, so there's not really any reason to get the physical copy unless you really want it. So, Dom, are you going to get I Shovel Knight now? I already have Shovel Knight. I can get it physical, though. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. You don't know? What was that supposed to mean? You don't know? I don't know. Damn it, Dom. Well, there it is. If you guys wanted Shovel everyone loves Shovel Knight. I don't know anyone who actually hates Shovel Knight. <laughs> I mean... Sh um, Shovel Knight is flawed in design. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah it, I had too much fun with it. Shovels aren't good I was, weapons. I was disgusted by the amount of entertainment I was getting from the game. It is too good for its own good. I demand you destroy it. Uh, yeah. Moving on to the next topic, we're gonna talk about the Monopoly movie that's coming out. <laughs> okay, how the fuck are they gonna... <laughs> okay, Monopoly man, he's gonna come in, and then he's like... Uh... There's not enough monopolies. Oh my and god! He just they... gives, and he just gives Walmart like a ton of money and tells them to just crush all the mom and pop shops. No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. It actually, there's actually a plot. Okay. Uh -huh. This is the official plot synopsis. The story centers on a boy from Baltic Avenue who uses both chance and community in a quest to make his fortune, uh, taking him on a fun, adventurous-filled journey. It's about making your own luck and what makes you truly rich, and of course, avoiding jail time. Oh. So avoiding jail. What about jail when you're like really late game and he just wants to go to jail? <laughs> He's just gonna start stealing stuff. <laughs> so it's gonna be. I mean, it's a Hasbro product, so it's, I think they're gonna go for a kid demographic. But it's gonna be a fun-filled adventure, getting uh, money and avoiding that. jail. I want to say that Transformers. Remember? <laughs> no, no, Dom. Look at this. It is a fun, adventure-filled journey. Mm-hmm. That sounds like Transformers to me. And what makes you truly rich, of course. Which is money. Yes. It's about being the 1% and how to get there. <laughs> and avoiding jail as you get there. Exactly. Uh, it teaches kids how to become millionaires. Mm -hmm. Truly. The thing we need. I think, I think after hearing this news, we should play Monopoly, guys. I agree. Yeah. No. <laughs> Who shall be that young boy from Baltic Avenue? Maybe. I don't know about you, but I do not. Dibs. It's me. It's me. It's me. First of all, he's he's from the Brown Avenue, the brownest of the brown. You mean the purple? <laughs> no, that's Bal the Baltic is the brown. You mean the purple? No, it's not. Purple. It's Baltic, you idiot. It's fucking purple. You know what? I want to fight you. No, you're not. I'm gonna fight you with Monopoly. I could be. I'm gonna monopolize your whole avenue. That sounds really <laughs> we gay. We shall see who owns the brown after this. That sounds extremely gay. You know what? It may be gay to you, but to me, it's a fun adventure filled journey. <laughs> <laughs> it's about making your own luck and what makes you truly rich. And of course, avoiding jail time. <laughs> I think we should like. I think we should just end the podcast right here. <laughs> no, we got two more things to talk about. Okay. Uh, there's gonna. Be, okay, so you know about Windows 10? Yeah. Some uh, Microsoft owns Minecraft, and they're making a Windows 10 edition, and apparently they're labeling it as a whole new version. And it's not because there's a HoloLens edition. It's because uh, when apparently Windows 10 is getting a whole new version of Minecraft. Yeah, no way you should really complain about it. People who own Minecraft already get it free. So, this uh, is bullshit. Fucking, I wanted there to be uh, another type of flower since forever. <laughs> I don't know what mods are, so I can't download update. So that's the only way I can get new content for Minecraft. This is bullshit how the feather... Spawn rating when you kill a chicken in Windows 10 is much higher now. <laughs> That's fucking... My ma my my uh, build strats is all messed up now. <laughs> you fucking... God damn it. Are you, you... telling me it's 11% to get flint using a shovel when you're getting gravel now? 
It's fucking OP. This is bullshit. What is Minecraft? Uh, I can't wait for the whole new edition on Windows 10. Are you gonna play Minecraft, Alex? No. Are you gonna play Minecraft, Dominic? No. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna play Minecraft. Oh, you're not. I'm gonna. It's gonna be the number one game. Whenever a new game is announced, like uh, the new Halo, I'm just gonna get a Halo mod on Minecraft and pretend it's real. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Cortana. <laughs> Back, what? Wait, what? Let's go, okay. And the final news that we have to talk about is um, Mortal Kombat X finally adds Predator. X X. Predator. 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 I still Predator. haven't seen the the story to Predator. Uh, but I knew I do know the story to uh Jason now. What's the story to Jason? So, uh, so, uh... The planets align. It's so fucking stupid, though. It's, um... So, so Jason starts killing a bunch of kids in the cabin, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, like, a bunch of teenagers. And, uh, Liu Kang, after being resurrected, mm -hmm. uh, and started becoming king of the underworld, is like, you know what? If I hire Jason to be my immortal killer, I'm gonna be unstoppable. So yeah, he summons... Jason just killed no. him. Yeah, so he summons Jason to the underworld, and he's like, yo... I'll allow you, I'll give you the opportunity to kill whoever you want, as long as you work for me. And Jason like, simply responds with killing Liu Kang. <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, is that he accepts. Yeah. So now he's in the no. Mortal Kombat universe solely because Liu Kang thought it was, he could persuade Jason to join his army. No, but technically he did persuade him. He took no, him up in his no. offer and killed Liu Kang. He said he can kill anybody. No, he, he didn't say you can kill anybody. He's like, I'm going to give you thousands of people to kill. And oh. he's like, no. He's like... No, he said, yeah. So I, I honestly don't know if Jason understood what he was saying. I think he just was like, I'm just going to kill you now. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> so I'm... How the fuck does Predator do this story? I don't know. Uh, the planet's line. Um, uh, uh, Jason alien. calls him in. <laughs> Yo, Predator, I need some help. Actually, it could it could be that Predator finds that the best fighters in are in Mortal Kombat, and he joins in to kill them, or something. And then after that, Spider Man makes yeah. an appearance. Yeah. So uh, I have a question: yeah. Who's stronger in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the alien or the Predator? The alien or the Predator? Yeah. Uh, is it the alien? I don't know. I think so. I don't know. I never watched a movie. All right, and you know I well, said that was the last. To do tomorrow. Anyways, you know I said that was the last bit of news. I forget uh -huh. there was technically there's one more thing. Uh, uh -huh. There's been an update with um, Arkham Knight uh, for the PC edition. Uh huh. So they said they found out the issues for the PC version and they're going to uh, fix it in order for it to be released soon on the PC. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, however, because of this, uh, the DLC with Batgirl in it. Uh, will it ain't not coming out on PC. It's not gonna come out immediately when it is. But it's gonna be free. Be released. Do those? No, they have, they have not have said that. It. You're gonna have to pay for it. They said they're really sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck if I care if you're really sorry or not. Yeah. <laughs> I want compensation for yeah. the emotional trauma that you have inflicted upon me. So console versions are immediately gonna get this DLC trauma, first. The game that you never planned to play it to begin with. Shut the fuck up, Dominic. My feelings are hurt. No. Uh, I apparently there was, there was a lot of issues with Arkham Knight. Uh, <laughs> apparently some there was, really was some really bad ones were like uh, it was locked on 30 frames per second. No, well, that was no, just a limitation. That, no, no, no. Yeah, the really bad ones was that you get like, five frames was, per second. You get into the map. Mobile. There was a high percentage, like, no, uh, yeah, it was a high percentage of people unable to finish the game. Good. Yeah. Yeah. It was horrible. That was bad. Um, yeah, I think that covers up our news roundup for the two weeks, and that's pretty much all so I. So now it's on to personal about. life or data, right? Yeah. So, right. uh. Donic. Yeah. How are you doing? Good. Well, Donic died to me today. How about you, Uzel? How are you doing? <laughs> Don't shut up, you're dead. No, I'm not. 
Uh, yeah, so tell me, what, what was the interesting thing you did this week? Most Hello. interesting. Hi, surprising guest from the podcast, Danny Hi, Vigor. Danny. Yeah. Hi, guys. Hey, first hey, Danny. time. Danny, say your catchphrase. I don't have a catchphrase. Do it. No Danny, dreams, only tears now. No Do dreams, it. only tears now. Shut the fuck up. I promise these people a catchphrase. Shut, shut the fuck up. Let Danny phrase. say his thing. Come on, Danny. Fucking Danny, do it. All right, any of you guys want to play Counter Strike? Beautiful, <laughs> Danny. <laughs> yeah, there it is. There it is. God. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go back and play Counter Strike. Danny, this is the one time we didn't have the energy to win. You just couldn't. This is. I mean, I... look, this podcast is. Hi. Almost, it's almost over in five minutes. Whatever. Hey, uh, Danny, what are your what is your opinion on Iwata dying? Who? Uh, the president of Nintendo. Good. I feel like having to answer that question means I don't have an opinion. <laughs> Please, you have, you have to answer. Nintendo. You have to answer it, Danny. Shock revelations, Danny doesn't care about N Nintendo. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna add Danny in now. Excellent, thank you. I'm gonna. You're just gonna dub over my voice and make me say horrible. Danny, what you know do you what? I'm not gonna Danny, what do you think about yourself? Shh. Tears, only dream. Uh. Goodbye. Thanks, Danny. Oh, Danny wait, before Goodbye. you leave, one more yeah? thing. Can you say, "I kill little people"? I could. Hitler is my best friend. <laughs> so long, farewell. Right, bye, bye, Danny. Bye. Bye. Speaking bye. about Hitler being your best friend, Dominic, my grandma shook Hitler's hand. Ah, uh, cool. That's good news. Anyways, thanks for joining us on the podcast, guys. Uh, it's, uh, been a, it's been yeah, a fun you're time. you're welcome. I would demand compensation. <laughs> it's been a great time. I've been doing this for like... Uh, thanks for my co-host for joining us today. Yeah. yeah. You're welcome. Uh, if you want to see more podcasts, I have a playlist in the description. What a car check on from channel. Please subscribe <sighs> and like and shit. Please don't. You, you, it's not going to help. We, yeah. we're, we're already dead here. Just, just let it die. Alright. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.